Good girl. To say dogs are curious creatures is an understatement. Good girl. All you have to do is spend some time with Fancy, the Cape Coral shelter dog, <laughs> or Kirby, one of her companions, to see that. But a vet at the Cape Coral Animal Shelter says there's a pest out there that could turn some harmless curiosity into a deadly encounter for your pet. Dogs are very curious, so when they see them moving, their first thing is to put them in their mouth. The they would be cane or bufo toads, an invasive species that's toxic to other animals. It can cause seizures, it causes um, arrhythmias, it causes problems with their vessels, um, and if it's not addressed pretty rapidly, there's a high percent of uh, fatality. These toads are all over the state, and most recently, some were spotted in the Cape. If your pet puts one in its mouth, you should take them to the vet and quick and do this to their mouth. You flush it with water. But what about those pesky toads, right? Well, a professor at FGCU says the safest way to get rid of those toads for both you and the toad is to use a chemical that's commonly found in Origel. The best thing to do is to uh, put benzocaine onto it, onto their back, so it kind of puts them into a almost like a coma-like state, um, and then put them into the freezer after that. Putting them in without benzocaine means a painful death. You should also wear gloves while doing this and toss the toad in the trash when done. That professor also adds that if you're going to get rid of the toads yourself, you've got to make sure you don't accidentally kill a toad that's native to our state. The southern toads are much smaller, um, and the way to identify them is in between the eyes. They have these two ridges uh, that kind of look like horns. In Cape Coral, Rochelle Aline, Fox 4.